Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia and I am a full-time reseller over on Poshmark. Um, I have been reselling now for, I started it in May of 2015. So, uh, yep, May makes it seven years. Wow, I can't believe it's been seven years. I shop mostly at the Goodwill Outlet, Goodwill Bins, whatever you want to call it. So that's where a lot of my inventory comes from. And I wanted to show you guys something I just saw. So I went shopping yesterday morning, so Monday morning. I went right at opening 8 a.m. And I picked up, I have my receipt right here. I picked up 31.3 pounds. I pay $1.49 a pound, so my total was $46.64. And after taxes, I paid $50.25. Um, Denver Goodwill Outlets raised their prices. I think it used to be like $1.19 or $1.29 to $1.49 last year, which is fine because it's still cheaper than what I pay at my regular Goodwill store. So I wanted to just go ahead and show you guys what I bought because I'm going to go back again tomorrow morning after I drop off my son at school. And so I just want to make sure that I get my haul separated. I found a lot of just bread and butter this time, but that's fine. Um, bread and butter pays the bills and mama needs some money. So I wanted to start off. Um, this is just a basic and it is an old tag Banana Republic and not something that I would usually pick up, but it is 100% silk. I like this, like almost like a woven cutout neckline. Look how pretty that is and it is a size extra large. So I will be listing this for 25 to $28. Um, this first pile of stuff that I'm gonna show you guys, I already photographed. My dogs are going crazy. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I photograph in natural sunlight and we've had really bad rain here in Denver the last few days. So the weather just hasn't been that great. I was still able to get 30 items photographed today so I just want to go ahead and just show you guys everything that I bought just right now because if not, I'll forget. Um, the next piece that I have is this Lane Bryant. It's this really beautiful coral blazer. It has one button. Um, it has like a little slit in the back and it does have pockets and it is lined. It feels like it almost has like shoulder pads it just to give it some structure. I'll probably list this for about 30 30 to $35 just because plus size stuff and career wear stuff is something that's harder to come by for whatever reason. Like you don't really find good quality um, plus size career wear things. So whenever I do find it and it's in great condition, I can charge a little bit more for it. This is just going to be for my 5 or 25 closet. This is just the little wild fable skirt. It is a size four and it's a, like a chambray little denim and uh, mini denim skirt with like a pastel rainbow print. I'll list this for about $15. This is Crew Cuts, which is just J. Crew's kids line. This is a girl's chambray button down shirt. I thought for the fall time, this would be perfect. I'll list this about 20 bucks. People love good basics for their children. This is Umji, which is a boutique brand. And this is the size medium large. It's this beautiful sage green. It's mixed media. Half of it is like this really beautiful sheer chiffon material. It has a fringe trim. And then the other material is this really beautiful like brushed cotton. Um, I'll probably list this for about $35 just based on the style and it should sell for that price. I'm sorry that I'm wearing my pajamas. I already have my kids in bed. Tomorrow's their first day of school. So um, I'm in I'm like in total mom mode right now. Next, I have a pair of Anthropology Pilgrim letter, letter press. These are the Step Fit size 27. They are like a gray corduroy skinny pants. I'll list these mm, 30 bucks. That is the older Pilcro tag, but it will still sell for about mm, in the $20 range. This is a really expensive kids brand. Um, it is the brand Peak and it is the size 14. I would save this for Penelope, but it's a 14 and she's only five. So it will be a while before she can fit into this. It's like a really beautiful woven 
rainbow little A-line uh, skirt. It is fully lined, super pretty. I'll probably list this for about 20 to $25. These are soft surroundings. I've been finding a ton of soft surroundings lately. This is extra small, they're like a chambray, elastic waistband, skinny leg, jeggings. I'll list these for 30. This is just Target, but it is maternity and it's beautiful. It's an extra large, like look at how pretty that print is. It has a V-neck, it has like that fitted waist band right here at the waist to like make your belly pop. I thought that this would be so pretty for the fall time. It's just sheer and lightweight. These are Fabletics. They don't have the rip tag anymore, but that's fine. These look to be about a medium or a large. They are two-toned gray cropped athletic leggings. I will list these $22 maybe. This is a piece that I don't, or a brand that I stopped picking up for a while. Um, it's Talbots, but this like red and gray plaid blazer is so beautiful. I could not pick it up. I stopped picking up blazers for a while, especially with the pandemic. They just weren't selling as well. This is a wool blend. Yeah, it's 80% wool. So I'll probably list this for about $35 to $40. Again, the style is beautiful. Very like academia, academia. So this is just bread and butter, Urban Outfitters. This is a size small and it's this really pretty black and pink leopard print button down little skater skirt and it is fully lined. I'll list that for $25. This I did not get from the bins, but um, so I paid a dollar for this and the next two items I'll show you guys. This is just an Athleta size 12 skirt. Super cute, it has the zippered pockets in the back. I actually bought this at a little mom and pop thrift store in New Mexico when we were there this weekend for my son's uh, soccer tournament. This is Vintage Lily Pulitzer, size 2P. I could not find this print anywhere to save my life, but it is a skort, zips down the back, and I'll show you guys. So I might list this for like $45. Let's see how that does. This is just free people, another little bread and butter piece. This is These are a size eight. They are fully lined and they're this like black and yellow floral print little shorts. Oh, I didn't realize like they like, it has like a flounce hem on the sides. They zip up the side, super lightweight and cute, $30 for those. The last piece that I got from New Mexico is this soft surrounding skirt. It is a size 2X and this just like gave me all the vintage Y2K vibes. It's like pleated and it's denim and it's a midi length skirt. It very reminded me of like where it's like lag and look, um, vintage, boho. I'm gonna probably list this for about $50. This is just another little bread and butter piece. Um, it's just American Eagle and this is their new tag. This is the soft and sexy plush, size small. It's an olive green like waffle knit. A cardigan it has a hood and it's an open front so I'll list this for $25 this is a brand that I don't think I've ever found before I could have before but I just don't remember it's the brand drew this is an extra small I just really like the style of this it's a little cream and white uh, striped tank top and it has like a little uh, like fringe destroyed raw Hem. <laughs> this is a piece that was in every single person's reseller haul videos for the longest time because um, everybody buys like the subscription boxes and then they, they donate everything. This is Spiritual Gangster. And I might be wrong, but this is a robe. It's a one size black and white floral print robe. I really like the sleeves just like super pretty and casual. I'll list that for $25 now that the hype has gone down on those a little bit and they're not as common. Um, <coughs> sorry, I'm like losing my voice from exhaustion. This is Old Navy. 
and it is a power soft sports bra this is an xxl and it's a mint green color i will list this for 24 dollars just because of the size and the color this is this was like new without tags because it still had this like little tag thingy on it it's a size small and this is the logo and this is the brand on it it's vix paula harmony um i've sold like a swimsuit cover up before by them i think it sold like for 40 dollars. it's just a little printed one piece it's padded low back i'll list this for 35 dollars. the other piece i sold for that much because it was like super beaded and embroidered this is just just fab which i would not pick up but Look at how beautiful this is. The color is like jewel tone almost. The lace, the really pretty like hem on this and it is fully lined. I'm gonna list this for $25. Career wear, I love career wear. I've talked about it before. These are just Banana Republic. These are the Avery dress pants. These are a zero petite and I thought they might've been a wool blend but they are not. I will still list these for $30. Take an offer somewhere in the $25 range. This is H&M, which I haven't picked up H&M as much anymore as I used to when I first started reselling because it doesn't sell for a lot, but their dresses do resell in like the $18 to $20 range. Um, some of their denim, their shorts, depending on what they are, will resell for some good money too. And then this Skirt. I loved the style. It's a size six. It's like a denim pencil skirt, almost like a mini skirt, but it has like a step hem and it is distressed. I'll list this for about $24. Another pair of Banana Republic dress pants. These are the Sloan and they are the textured dress pants. Another just skinny leg. I'll list these for 30 as well. Last couple pieces that I photographed here. These are uh, J. Crew Vintage Matchstick. Now, I thought these were like reproduced, like they were like a newer style and they just had that vintage matchstick, but they actually might be vintage. So they're 100% cotton and it does not have a date tag on them. And I'll do some research, but I'm not sure if these are newer or older they're just some classic little j crew matchstick jeans probably 25 to 30 dollars for them this is just old navy it is a size 16 it is this black denim raw hem skirt and the last thing that i photographed today were these Theory dress pants. This is my first time finding Theory. These are a size four. This beautiful, like vibrant red. They're like a slinky material, taper leg, elastic waistband. Um, I'm not sure what Theory resells for. Like I said, I never picked it up before, but I'm gonna say like 40 to 45 dollars. Okay, um, I've talked about this before. Victoria's Secret sport sports bras. I will always pick up. It's this like blue mint green and like neon yellow green sports bra the this is a 34 double d it does need to be washed but that's fine i will happily wash that and list it for 25 dollars these are just some Aaliyah shorts which Aaliyah is francesca's but i do sell francesca's all the time they are this blue and white oh it's an elephant print elastic waistband fully lined and it has like a tie so they get tied in the front here i need to separate these <laughs> this is another pair of anthro pants these are anthro pilgrim on the letterpress again these are the older pilgrim tags but that's fine with me these are a size 28 and these are the serif and these are like a crushed velvet they're black again skinny i'll list these because they are a crushed velvet instead of the corduroy order or probably like $32. These are Philosophy, which is a brand that's sold at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, places like that. But they are a 3X. They are these 
maroon, like pull on skinny leg. I don't want to say dress pants, but they could be worn as dress pants. I love this brand for their leggings or like these thick knit pants in particular. Um, so I'll probably list those for about $25 because even though they are just philosophy, which is sold at stores like that, the color, the style, and the size. These are Bullhead, which is sold at like PacSun or what's that? Uh, Tillies. Uh, these are the high rise short in a size three, which I tend to avoid picking up junior sizing, but the style of these is great. So I will list these for $25. Another kid's piece, this is Gymboree, which if you are a mom, you know how expensive Gymboree is. I wish this fit Penelope. It's just this little gray knit sweater and it has like a rainbow pastel um, front. I'll probably list this for about 20 bucks. As I said, like I said, Gymboree is really expensive. If it were up to me, that was all my kids. That and Baby Gap was all my kids would have worn when they were babies. This is Skies Are Blue which is a Stitch Fix brand, or can be a Stitch Fix brand. I don't believe it's exclusive, but it's this gold fully sequined, like maxi skirt, but it is slit on the side, let me see. Slit on the side and it's lined and it is a size medium. So there's like no damage on this. I think I could probably list it for about $40 just because of the style of it. We have one swimsuit top, or no, maybe two swimsuit tops today. It has no brand, but I really don't care. It's just a size medium. I love picking up swimwear, sports bras, like intimates pretty much, uh, swimsuits, stuff like that. And even if it doesn't have a brand, I will probably still pick it up and just throw it up on my Forever 25 closet. It's this really pretty like blue and red printed tie front swimsuit top and it is padded. And this style I feel like has done better than the skimpier pieces lately. So I'll probably list it for about $12, which cost me like 25 cents. This is Airy and people like Airy bras. So people pay me good money for Airy bras. This is Airy, a size 32B. There is, oh, the Sunny Strapless Bra. It's just a nude color. List this for about 20 bucks. This is, oh, Auden, Auden, which is sold at Target. This is a 32B and it is the everyday bra. Again, like a nude color. I will list this for 16 to 18 dollars and my last piece like swimwear intimate stuff is this victoria's secret like caged front swimsuit top it is padded this was like one of the last victoria's secret tags before they stopped making swimwear this is a size small and it is from 2016. so all this is for 20 to $24. More shorts here. These are the American Eagle shorty, or no, these are the midi. Midi shorts, and they are a size two. Just a little black pair of shorts, $25. Okay, next up we have another plus size piece and petite as well. This is Talbot 16 Petite, and it's this navy blue beautiful shift dress or sheath dress i'm sorry it's like a thick knit material sleeves it does need to be i'm sorry my dog is just losing her mind today um it has like a scoop neck super pretty and it zips down the back i'll probably list this for about 35 dollars okay let's finish out this haul uh, the next two pieces are just going to be for my 5 for 25 closet. They are both just Target, but I couldn't pass them up. This is Knox Rose, a size small. Look at how beautiful this print is. I'll list this for about mm, 13 to 15 And this is Exhilaration, which they don't even make anymore. It's a size large, but I love this cold shoulder 
little floral print romper. Look how cute is this? So I'll list that for about $14 as well. This is Sundance or Soft, oh, soft Surroundings and another plus size piece. I kind of hit the plus size uh, jackpot. This it's a thick knit open front long line cardigan, long sleeves, and it has pockets. Super pretty. Um, let me see if I can find the fabric content tag here. This is cotton, polyamide, and wool. So a lot of this is for about $45 to $50 because again, it is a nice substantial piece. That plus size, um, the style, this is just green envelope, which again is sold at brand or at places like TJ Maxx and yada yada yada. But this is another really pretty piece. It's a little V-neck button down tie front t-shirt. The color is really pretty, so I will list this for twenty dollars. Last couple pieces here. This is another kids piece. This is Gap, and it is Star Wars. Here we go, a little stormtrooper. This um, Gap in Star Wars collection does really well. So all this is for $25. This is just a little Zella piece, Z by Zella, which is the kids. This is an extra small, five, six. I might actually keep this for Penelope. I don't know. It's like a little, um, what is that material called? Like the one like the same material that the Juicy Couture tracksuits are made out of, little bat wing sleeve, super cute. Just a little everyday basic with some leggings and stuff. This I picked up based on style. I believe I've heard this brand before as like being like a super, I'm sorry, there's so many flies in my house. Um, a super good, like, uh, like art to wear something like that. I'm going to have to do some research. This is just pretty angel and it's a size large. To me, it was like a lag and look art to wear. Look at how pretty this is. Super layered. I don't think this is a dress. I think it's a top or like a tunic, but it just has like so much going for it that I got it and I'm hoping to list for about 50 to $60 just based on the style. Last three pieces here. Another pair of American Eagle. These are the new tag high rise jegging, and these are tiny. These are the zero extra short, but somebody will buy these. Um, I will list for $25 and sit on them until somebody buys them. I believe this is vintage Nike. I'm not good with dating Nike tags, I'm not a big Nike person but I believe this is Nike. So this is a tag and this is that tag. These are just kids shorts. These are a large 12, 14. They look almost like swim trunks, but I don't think they are. I think they are running shorts. Um, so I'm gonna have to do more research on these and hopefully get about 30 to $35, maybe even more if they're worth more money. So if you guys know about Nike tags, let me know, but I will do some research. And then the last piece, I'm sorry, it's been a long day. And the last piece here is another kid's piece. This is, oh, here we go. This is a swimsuit piece, which I wasn't really picking up before, but I'm like, uh, why am I, whatever. This is the brand, I believe this is just Skechers. Yep, Skechers size 14. I might give this to my niece if she likes it. It's a little one piece with cutouts on the back. The back is open. Super cute. I really like the print of this. It's like tigers and flowers and butterflies. She doesn't want it. I'll probably list this for about $20. So that is my haul. I'm hoping to make, I don't know, four or $500 out of this. And so if I can make that an hour's work, cause that's literally all the time I spent at the outlet let's say an hour of sourcing, an hour of photographing, uh, an hour of listing, that's three hours work for $500 is what I'm hoping to make. Obviously not right away, but over time, over time, I'm hoping that 
this haul will bring me about $500. So my $50 turning into like five to $600 is just fine with me. If you guys like my videos, please make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I'm trying to make more content, especially now that my kids are back in school. I'm going to have more time. Um, so yeah, bye guys.